Hello, everybody. Let me make sure I'm on the right uh, little settings there. How's everybody doing this morning, Joe? You're the winner again, buddy. How are you doing this morning? It is a magnificent Monday morning. I've already been up for a couple of hours. Got my workout in. It's a good day already. All right, so I uh, hope you had a fantastic weekend that you are hyped, pumped, and jacked, Ray, for the week. Oh, well, I am. Hey, Sarah, good morning to you. What's with the crying? Are you laughing at me? Your message uh -oh. says, no. Okay, let me know if there's anything else you need. Doggone, Siri. <laughs> All right, anyway, today, man, I've got a fantastic... Uh, topic today. I think so anyway. Why you should stop trying to be the best. Why you should stop trying to be the best. We're going to get into that in just a second. Before I do, i got to go through my regular morning routine. If you're listening on iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, watching on YouTube, any of the many myriad of places where you can catch this content five days a week, every weekday morning, please do yourself a favor. At some point, Go to 7minutesinthemorning.com, check us out on the Facebook page, leave a comment there, say hi, that's where all the awesome happening stuff goes on. And by the way, I guess I figured out that Sunday afternoon's not a great time to post a question on the Facebook page because nobody answered it. I thought it was a pretty good question. Maybe I'll repost it again later today. And no, I'm not going to tell you what it was. Okay. Uh... Spreading Monday joy. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so why you should stop trying to be the best. I saw this quote yesterday from Steve Martin. Be so good that they can't ignore you. Be so good that they can't ignore you. The reason that you should stop trying to be the best is because being the best, by definition, begs comparison. Just because you're the best doesn't mean you're any good. If you're the best, um, I don't know, uh, 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 completely stumped me here. If you're the best um, fresco painter in Frisco, Texas, all right, great, because maybe you're the only one there, right? I, I mean, don't, here's the point, and I'm, I'm just going to cut right to the chase here. If you're trying to be the best, then you're trying to beat somebody else. And it might, you know, somebody you you know who you're trying to beat or some unknown entity that you're trying to beat. Don't try to be the best. Be great. Be great at what you do. Steve Martin says be so good. I think he should say be so great. Be so great that they can't ignore you. If other people are getting the work, why is that? No, it's because they know somebody. Okay, maybe. No, it's because they had a cheaper price. Okay, sure, maybe. But if you were great, that stuff wouldn't matter, would it? We get this idea trapped in our head that um, that there's this scale that that. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Go. Uh, I had an epiphany there for a minute. <clears throat> we get this idea in our head that there's this scale, and once we get to the top of the scale, hey, we're a winner. We don't have to work anymore, right? But I want you to think about, and, and I, I'll call a couple of names out here, but, you know, think of your own examples. Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, uh, Ted Williams, Right. All great players in their in their particular sport. And yet, for some reason, they still practiced every day. Hmm. Why is that? Why did they keep practicing? Because they were trying to get better. I, you know, I've made I've told the story for a long time that uh one of the people, if I had been fortunate enough to play professional basketball, one of the people I would not want to be was Scottie Pippen. Because were it not for the fact that Michael Jordan were on his team, he would have been 
the best player in the NBA. But almost his entire career, he had to take second fiddle. And I shared that with somebody one time, and and they had a pretty interesting perspective. Maybe he was so good because he played with Michael. No, just a thought. But the point here is, they all practice. They all continue to get better. Right? And you can tell. Yeah, I mean, you ever had one of these sports figures that you really liked, and toward the end of their season, it's just like they were kind of phoning it in they weren't they weren't they weren't really putting out like they used to they weren't really giving it everything they had you ever ever seen anybody like that that's what happens when you think you're good enough there's always something you can do to improve always always something you can do to improve so find out what that one thing is and and i think i mentioned this last week But if you just make a 1% improvement every day in a little over three months, you will have doubled your abilities. In a little more than six months, you will double them again. And it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. 1%, that's all you have to do. 1% is much easier than doubling. If you think about doubling your ability, wow, that sounds pretty hard. Ah, just a 1% improvement. You just have to be a little bit better than yesterday. I shave this morning on my walk. I take walks, but they're power walks. I shaved uh, 9, 10, 11, 11 seconds off my minute time or my mile time. I'm super happy with that. It's just 11 seconds. Not even long enough for a commercial. 1% improvement. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to let that one sit with you right there. What's one thing, the one thing you can do today that's going to make a 1% improvement? And if you are brave enough and bold enough and want to leave it in the comments, I'll ask you about it tomorrow to make sure that you did it. All right, I want you to go out there and have a magnificent Monday. We'll be back here again tomorrow morning, bright and early, 7-ish o'clock. I know I was a few minutes late this morning. Sorry. 7-ish o'clock for 7-ish minutes in the morning. Let's see how I did this morning. Look, right at 8 minutes. Oh, let me hit some of these. uh, I'm so sorry. Let me hit some of these comments. Good morning to you, Jessica and George. Hey, George. Good to see you. Get caught up in looking at competitors. You know, that's another great point. Now I'm not going to wrap it up. I'm going to have to keep going. Sarah has pushed me to keep going. When you're running the race, you know, the sprints in the Olympics, you see them looking over their shoulder. Man, even in the long races, they don't look over their shoulder very much. Why is that? Break the rhythm? Yeah, sure. You're not running a race against the other guy. You're running your race against your best. They're not trying to just beat this guy. They're trying to beat their best. All right? Don't 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 get so wrapped up in the in the competition and what they're doing that you lose focus on what your job is. Cuz you know what? Your job might be different than theirs. Cuz remember we're each uniquely gifted and talented. Not all here to do the same thing. Jessica says it's harder to hold the best title then achieving it takes hard work to hold it. That's right. It does take hard work. Ask anybody who's won back-to-back championships in any kind of sport. There's a reason why it doesn't happen very often. It's hard work. It's really hard work. All right, that's it. Now I'm really wrapping things up. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to share with your network. If you get any value out of this, the only uh, compensation that I ask for is that you share this video with your network so they can tune in and join us for all the goodness that happens here. I'll be back again in the morning with another installment, seven minutes in the morning. You guys have a great day.